thing after this, your boy just gonna be uh, more more clean and more, you know, you're not gonna, the subway in New York has gotta change, all that has to change. Yeah. People are too dirty. You, you check out here after you finish a meal, tell, tell uh, what, if you can treat it. They have products that I can tell yeah, you. Remember she bought it? You remember she bought a product she used? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I look at it and see, um, did, did you put the bro the stuff in? Have you noticed did you notice the difference? Yeah, it's the It's softer and better, right? Yeah, but you know somebody can drop it. To put on your hair to keep your hair? Yeah. There is uh, I don't know if you uh, take any do you take vitamins? Yeah, I do the vitamins. There's a vitamin called Biotin. Biotin is the vitamin for the hair. Okay, well, using a shampoo or biotin shampoo? They sell the pill. So... Uh, this, I bought this at home. You take one a day, it's a dietary pill. So you, you see what it has and if, if you have, if you take anything, it's natural. So they sell the uh, whole foods. Okay. And that helps you keep your hair. It, it will make it strong, mm -hmm. just like the shampoo. The more things you do, I do everything by then. I got shampoo, conditioner, that, everything in my hair will be no hair. Yeah. But it, I have seen the front too. See? Yeah, but it looks better, yeah. Because yeah. last time it was not, it was way better. Yeah. So you, you use the conditioner like twice a week and you leave it yeah. in and you put it really good? When you cut the conditioner, you then have buy thinner than have collagen. Yeah. You use the vitamins itself? Yes. The vitamins are, are if you take them every day, that, that would help. Um, I was, I had a, my, my two year old daughter, we gave her, my, her baby vitamins. And I, I read everything. And I'm looking at her baby vitamins. 10,000 micrograms of biotin, I said, to the baby, because it's growing. So I said, if they're giving the baby that, you know, I went to Old and they said, we have the same thing. Okay. So, yeah, the same is natural. It's good enough to do for, uh, they, they told me I could give it to the baby. I take it myself. <laughs> no, but your hair looks a lot better. Yeah, you can use it too. Hair is hair. I know a guy that puts it on his beard. Yeah, and his beard looks amazing now. He he, uh, he does all this stuff on his beard, and his beard looks great. Oh, surgery? Yeah, when I got You're gonna get a laser? Yeah, kind of. Oh, but nowadays they do that in and out. One, yeah, yeah. one hour, right? Yeah, one hour, yeah. You wear a patch for like a week and then you. Yeah, come out. Yeah. Is that like corrective or just to. to... Yeah, corrective, yeah. They're gonna put it on the lens. Right? Yeah, they're gonna put it on the lens. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I see it right in the. That's kind of right in the. Does it hurt? Oh, so, does it bother you like? Sometimes, sometimes it's gonna hurt. Well, this is gonna help now because you're taking that. Yeah. The laser is pretty good. Too. They do great stuff with the laser now. The laser identified. The laser identified the the blood clots. Yeah. Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. he, he lucky. He lucky he's alive. They say he might not walk. They had he had microscopic uh, nerve damage on his knees. I don't think he can. Yeah, he can golf. His son. You yeah. see, his son is getting good. Yeah. A young guy. Tiger was here. Yeah, he barely lifted up himself. Now. I mean, that shows you, you can have everything in your life and really have nothing, you know? Exactly. Right, right now, this guy is in the hospital crying in pain because he he's going through a lot of... He's really never been very, very happy, you know? And then he was doing a lot of wrong things under the clothes, the right clothes. 
Oh, that's how I was trying to be. Yeah, I always send my kids to school. I always say that uh, everything is at home. I'm being too careful with them. Yeah. The teachers don't want to go to school either, so. So they are right now they're home now. Yeah, they're sending, they're, I got a text saying that the school board of, of uh, Palm Beach County was hiring substitute teachers and anybody, they could certify anybody as a substitute teacher that has five credits in college. Meaning that they're gonna have anybody just be a teacher because they don't have no teachers. So it's not very, very organized. Huh? Yeah. It's bad. Come back, friend. That's why I do my own thing. I use no, I use no soap. Yeah, you got. You have to be careful. Yeah, that's what they're doing. All that, the spray oils and all that. Uh, they're saying you get people getting cancer from all that. Yeah, so they tell me don't use no soap. I don't use no soap. No, the the the. I don't either because. Yeah. The meat and the already has salt in it. Uh, if you put the right condiments, they already have salt in the condiments. You put a little bit of this. I didn't salt it, but it's all a cup of salt. Yeah. No, I don't. I, not even a pinch. You know, they say a pinch. Yeah. I, my my wife laughs because we go to a uh, we go eat out. You know, restaurant or something before, and I don't put no salt on nothing. I still eat them in the restaurant because they're apparently the restaurant put in too much salt. Yeah, on the soups. Yeah. I, uh, I like 
like soups that are spicy, and put spicy and salt. Yeah, but before you put it, I should just all over in the 80s. Yeah. The, the, the chef doesn't now put salt in the food, they give you the salt to put. Yeah. I never put salt, I've never seen how to put in salt and everything. Everything. They used to say salt to your liking. Now they don't, yeah. Curry food too, they put too much salt on the curry food and then you want to like eat, I had ox two weeks ago and the ox had too much salt, like exactly yeah. like what you said. And I told the guy, you know, because I eat it in the soup. Yeah, I, yeah. And the soup had too much salt. I said, man, if you didn't put salt in this, it would be great. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was too salty. That's why I make my own soup. Yeah. I like dog soup? Yeah, I love that. I got um, Bravo, Bravo, you got a nice, nice, uh, long piece of uh, My uh, My wife made it when I got home, and she got me some really good uh, the ice style, and she put it all next to the rice, and she put a bunch of corn. Mm -hmm. She grabbed the corn and cut so it all. Yeah, yeah, it's too, yeah. It's good. Amazing. Yeah, I clean on, I'll clean on it. Like once a week or so, it's good. I do too. I eat a lot of chicken and I eat, you know, and I eat a lot of uh, lentils. Lentils is good to wear. Yeah, you know, beans it. and green beans and lentil soup. I like lentil soup. I can, and, uh, I can use too much of beans and also too much protein food because you know, my kidney has a lot of damage. Oh, you got pro kidney problems? Yeah, kidney problems. So, so you're careful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, drink a lot of liquids. Yeah, a lot of water. Really. Yeah. You said the water is most important. And yeah. No sodium. Yeah. I, yeah. I drink is water. Yeah, yeah, the water and orange juice is what mm -hmm. I drink. I need the vitamin C and I can't take too much vitamin C, so I take it. I like fresh orange juice that you can take, taste the pulp a little bit. Yeah. Like fresh orange juice. Um, like, you know, I can use the orange juice because the potassium is too high. Yeah. Well, my wife too, so what she does is she'll she'll do it herself and then add a lot of water. Yeah, and no sugar, just a lot of water. It, it, it looks like water with a little bit of a... Well, it's better than just nothing. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah. You gotta make it taste good. Tell my wife, you know, when I was little, my father was very poor. And I, I said, just having a drink would be nice. Anything, I told her, and I remember, you know, because I'm 45, and when I was a kid, you know, I didn't, I lived in South America. I don't remember, like, my kids right now, they go up to the, fri the refrigerator open, and they got this, that, and that. Uh, my refrigerator had nothing. Yeah, you, you, you open up in the shell, one soda. Yes. Four, four bottles of yes. one soda. Yeah, exactly. There's no food, it's what mom made that day, and that was it, that's it. You eat, like, chicken once a week. Yeah, and there was no microwave, so there's no yeah, leftovers, yeah. so you couldn't freeze stuff. You would have to fry it or have it the yeah. next morning for like breakfast, like a stew, you know? Yeah. Remember my mom used to like make too much rice and beans and stuff? So she would save a little bit in the morning, she'll throw it in a frying pan and throw an egg and, and make it like a, like a, you know? Yeah, but no, I didn't have any. This kid's are too spoiled. Everything's in a box now, you can... Order things and the, uh, yeah, they'll come and bring it to your house. And it's free. You know that Uber Eats in the morning they deliver free breakfast to your house. There's Dunkin' Donuts uh, and a diner and they'll deliver your food for free in Uber Eats. So you don't even have to go outside. My wife ordered from, um, and I'm not too savvy with ordering things from Amazon and all that, from Whole Foods. And they got there three hours later. I said, wow. You know something to it? Three hours later, she yeah, had all the stuff. Yeah, when you order it, uh, and then deliver it free. Yes. You know, that the, 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 uh, you, you put a little tip. Yeah, you can put a tip. Yeah, you put a tip to cover them, you know? Yeah, I, I give them a couple of dollars because then they remember me next time and they come right away. <laughs> yeah. No, but 
they, I have a guy that's driving the Uber Eats and he's making uh, 1200 a week. Oh, that's making, making money and doing Uber Eats. Next week is my 20th anniversary with my wife. Oh. We've been married for 20 years. I'm gonna go to um, to, uh, we're gonna go to the Keys. I'm gonna take a weekend. And, and uh, we could have gone places, but I thought you know everybody in the United States gets where they want to go. <laughs> She's like, let's go to Colorado. I said, if we drive to Colorado, everybody's gonna be driving this way. Like, where are you going? It's that way. Where are you going? I don't want cold. Everybody wants to say, if I want, I want warm. And I, I have I have friends in Key Largo. Key Largo is about an hour and a half, not too far. Yeah. I don't go to Key West, Key West, the tourists. I just go to like, as soon as the first bridge is over, my friend's house is right there. Yeah, scuba diving and, you know, sit in a hammock for a whole day and sleep. Yeah, a couple of days. The West Coast is always nice one. The West Coast is nice. Yes, I stayed in Marco Island. Marco is nice too. I I went in Marco too. It's nice. Marco Island, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I saw the sunset mm -hmm. and um, very nice. Very yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Good food. Good good people. This morning, Jesus is getting exclusive look at the crash test underway.